Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. So today we got a brand new Fortnite season. So this season is called Fortnite Wrecked and it is a post-apocalyptic theme season. And I am extremely, extremely happy about, about that season like that. I've been looking forward to a season like that for a long time because if you've been watching my channel, you guys know I am a huge Fallout fan. Which leads me to making today's video, because we have a new Fallout collab, and I heard there's a few items in the game, as well as uh, a skin or some skins to also come with this Fallout collab. So in so today's video, I want to do a Chapter 5 Season 3 Battle Pass review. Alright, so let's uh, immediately get started here. So starting off, we're going to look at page 1, here is the first skin, or the tier 1 skin if you will, her name is The Mechanist. She almost reminds me of The Mechanist from the Fallout series, she has the same name. And I really like her skin so far, she's got a nice cool little welding helmet, I love like all the little details on her, she's got a little canister on there, I'm not sure if that's like nitro or whatever. I like how she, she seems to be someone who like works on like cars or something, which makes sense for this season. Because it seems to be heavily like car related, like Mad Maxi. And I think it makes sense. I, I, I think this is a great skin. So let's start looking at the stuff uh, that she comes with. So I'm going to start working down this way. We have a Lego kit. This also comes with the Battle Pass right when you buy it. I don't really play Lego Fortnite all that much unless I'm grinding XP. But hey, this is still pretty cool if I want to put this in my village or whatnot. Uh, it's like, like again, it's got that post apocalyptic -y stuff to it. It's called the Wastelanders Rampart. Looks like some sort of door that you can use. Anyways, I'm not going to overanalyze this for too long. Let's keep the ball rolling. We have a new demo called Make a Seat, uh, which is as opposed to Take a Seat, which is another emote in the game. And I think this is really creative. It's again, it's got that like, like create, like that like mechanical builder, post-apocalyptic theme to it. I, I really like it. Got the hydraulic slammer pickaxe. Got a nice little splash effect on it. Got the nitro volatile emoticon. Some debunks. The Wasteland Speeder Glider. I think this looks really cool. I can see myself using this with some other skins as well. We got the Ignition Pack Back Bling. Pretty cool. Not a uh, great back bling in my opinion, but it works pretty well. And the Mechanist Loading Screen. I'll put that in full screen. Yeah, pretty nice. I love the art style. I don't really care too much for loading screens, but hey, pretty nice. Alright, so on to page 2 of the Battle Pass, we got the Cobalt Burn Mechanist loading screen. So it looks like we're going to have a different edit style for her. Looks pretty nice, looks like it's going to have some like blue going on and all that loading screen we got. So like that Mad Maxi car thing that I was talking about earlier. The Mechanist in Control Spray. The Cobalt Burn Scooter. The Fire and Steel music pack. I'm not going to take too long listening to that. If you want to listen to that, go listen to it somewhere else. We have the Engine Drop Contrail. I don't know what's bugging out for me. i try that again. Alright, here we go. We got the Engine Drop Contrail. I'm really digging this. Really like it. We got the Nitro Flare Ignition pack, but with a blue style. Again, not my favorite back bling. It looks pretty neat. And here we got the Cobalt Burn Mechanist style. I really like this one. I'm not a big fan of the blue. I kind of like the red better, but I, I, I really like the helmet better on this one, though. Yeah, like as I was saying, I really like the helmet on this one. I really like that. Alright, so it does appear there's like nitro and stuff going on in the back. Alright, on the page three, we got Rust. Let me go to full screen. Yeah, so he's a, I think he's based off of a skin that came out in Chapter 1, actually, called Rust Lord. And he was kind of a post-apocalyptic theme skin as well. I really like that. And, and as we can see here too, he's wearing a Metallica shirt. I really, I personally really love Metallica, and I love how they've. I think Metallica works really well this season. Anyways, we got the metal head back bling. Looks pretty cool. I feel like it would have worked better if the head was facing like 
the other way, like towards like the screen if that makes sense but yeah either way still cool still cool regardless some more v bonks the wrecking axe pickaxe i'm really liking this i can see my i can see this being one of my new main pickaxes here let's see the effects on it. nice nice we got a new banner icon the wasteland rock emote which isn't loading let's try it again oh okay it must be copyrighted uh so there is music on this but it's copyrighted i'll, I, I'll have to see later what uh song it is but I'm, I'm assuming something metallica either way it looks really cool you got a floating rocket synced apparently that's really neat anyways on to the main skin got rust again like i said he's wearing a metallica shirt i love that here is his uh, Lego style. Actually, I, sh I should start showing off the Lego styles for these guys as well. Then we go back. <laughs> we're gonna go back to the Mechanist. So here's her Lego style. Quite nice. All right. On to page four. We got the corrosive rust loading screen. Here we can see him with his helmet on. It looks like he's got his glider. I'm sure we'll see that here in a second. We got the corrosive stripe wrap i really like it it's not too special it looks like it just looks like a blue wrap with some with some rust on it either way still cool pretty sweet more bee bonks the burning rubber emoticon this is an animated one i really like it the corrosive wrecking axe. So this is an alt style of the one we were just looking at. This one's got a blue splash effect to it. Got corrosive for us. Ooh, yeah, here he is with his helmet. I really dig this skin. He doesn't have the Metallica logo on his shirt anymore, but let's look at his Lego style. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be the same one. Anyways, on to page five. We got Peabody. I'm not really a big fan of this skin, but I'm sure some of you are. I'm sure Got the P like me loading screen, which most not loading screen, music pack, which most likely comes with a lobby track. The P buddy's back bling. The P Buddy's glider. Not sure you're gonna say that. This looks pretty cool. Don't see myself using it, but it's alright. We got the P's out spray. The tendril dropper. It's not working again to the Pretty cool, pretty cool. We got the Peabody skin. So we got, he's got some, looks like he's some sort of mechanic as well, like the Mechanist. Again, works well for this season, but I don't see myself using this guy. <laughs> he's like that meme skin of the Battle Pass. Here we got his Lego style, <laughs> look at that big old head. And it was on to page six. We got the Slap Peabody loading screen. So we got some cars going on we got peabody we can also see the tier 100 skin down in the middle the bottom middle and that one chick i don't know her name the p part harmony emote The Peabody's back wing, but slap style. The slap clang bashers. It looks pretty nice. Alright, oh, here I'm gonna look at the uh, splash effect. Nothing special. Another banner icon. The slap version of him. On to page 7, we got Ringmaster Scar. Oh, okay, so her name is Scar. Alright, yeah, so we got more cars. I think this might be a, like a look inside what that Nitrodrome POI looks like. The Neon Reaver Pickaxe. This looks really nice. I really like this. Ooh, it's got a nice splash effect too. Got some little lightning on it. The End of Rage Emoticon. The Feral Finisher Wrap. This looks pretty nice. I like the checker pattern. Purple's my favorite color, so I really like this too. It's a pretty nice wrap. The Drome Runner's Trophy. It's a little hyena. I like it. 
another banner icon. The Ringmaster Scar outfit. Looks pretty nice. The Ruiner Scar loading screen. I am really digging this style for, for Scar. I love the I love like the hyena mask. I really like hyenas, they're one of my favorite animals. The Drift Drifter Glider. The Nitro Drone Dr What is up with my contrails not working today, Blood? Got the Nitro Drone Dropper. Very nice contrail. The Fire Show Emote. I like that. The start your engine spray, V bonks, and the Ruiner Scar outfit. I really like this one. I really like it. So let's look at the st Lego style. All right, yeah, I love the Lego style. I like how they made the Lego style actually have the hyena helmet. Because if I were to use this in Lego Fortnite, that would definitely be the version I would want to use. On to page nine, we have the T60 power armor from Fallout. Again, if you know me, I love Fallout. It's my, one of my favorite video game franchises of all time. And I, I'm honestly, I honestly think that when I get the T60 Power Armor, it's going to be my new main skin. So I'm really excited to look at all this stuff. All right, we got the Pit Bling wrap. So we can see we got Vault Boy on the wrap. Wait, I think it, I think it's going to supposed to count your kills. It says it's reactive, and it says zero with. Vault Boy next to it. So yeah, it's probably going to count your kills or something, or how much ammo you have left. I'm not sure. I'll have another video going over a lot of like the new items and gameplay as well with my friend. I'll be we'll be doing a video on that as well. So we'll, we'll find out during then, eventually, but <laughs> if I'll have the wrap by then. V-Bonks. The Assault Tron Blade Pickaxe. I really like this. There's, if you don't, if you don't play Fallout, there's an enemy, a robot type called an assault tron they're like really advanced combat robots and you can find some that actually have assault tron blades and I, this is what this pickaxe is I, I, I really like it no special splash effect or anything i was personally hoping that the pickaxe for the fallout cola would be something called the super sledge or either or adam's judgment i'll have a pickaxe or a picture of those up on the screen show you what it looked like i think those would have been a good pickaxe option as well we got the Pit Boy Back Bling. I love this. I'm not sure if this is reactive or not. Okay, no, it's not reactive, but let's take a look at it. We see Vault Boy opening a chest, it looks like. It's a bullet hole. I mean, this might be reactive. Vault Boy uh, with his health bar going up. I think this might be reactive, but it doesn't say. Yeah, but anyways, there's the Pit Boy Back Bling. We got the Vault Boy banner icon. I'm going to be using this when I get it. And then finally, the good old T60. Bethesda loves meat riding the T60, but I'm not complaining because now we got it in Fortnite. This is going to be my new main skin. They did, they did a very good job on this skin, I, I honestly think. They got a lot of the detail in. I love I love the bulky skins. Not too much, but I think this is a good bulky skin. This is going to be definitely my new main. And then on to the second page. Oh uh, yeah, we got the Hot Rod T60 Power Armor loading screen. We got the T60 Power Armor with some Hot Rod paint on it. It looks like he's holding a laser rifle. I think that might be a new item in the game. In the background we see some cars. Again, fitting that Mad Max like type post-apocalyptic stuff. I love it. The Codsworth Cleanup Emo. I love this. Got a Mr. Handy spawning up, cleaning you up. I'm definitely going to be using that after every kill for sure. Got the Vault Boy emoticon. I love this. I can't get enough of this Fallout collab, man. This is like my dream collab. I've got Five Nights at Freddy. The West Tech glider. Pretty nice. I'm digging it. I like it. Let's redeploy it. Nice. I'm not. I'm personally not sure what this is supposed to be because I've I've played Fallout a lot and I don't. I don't think I've seen this before. I thought the glider for the Fallout collab was going to be a Vertibird. That or like the Pridwin airship. I'll have pictures of those up on the screen if you don't know what I'm talking about. But I think those would have been a better glider personally. But I think that might just be me. V-Bucks. The Hot Rod Pit Boy paint for the back bling. Like it. And then we got the Hot Rod T60 Power Armor paint. 
This is a paint that you can actually find in the Fallout games too. You can find some like magazines to get your uh, to change the paint job on your power armor. I like how they chose this one as an edit style. It's quite a popular power armor paint. I think I'm not sure if the power armor will have any other good paint jobs, but we'll have to see for later down the line or later in the battle pass. But yeah, I'm totally digging this Fallout collab. Anyways, on to page 11. We got the bright raider loading screen. Looks like they brought back armored battle buses by the look of it. We got the new Bright Raider skin up there. We got a helmet sitting in the corner. We got the Bright Heart emoticon. Not too special. V-Bucks. The Wasteland Bright Wrap. I really like this actually. I can, I'll can. i probably be using this with my other uh, Bright Bomber skins. I have almost every Bright Bomber skin, so I think it fits pretty well. We got the Bitey Pickaxe. I'm liking this. It's like a remix of the post-apocalyptic version of the regular pickaxe. Excuse me. We got the Wasteland Drifter Contrail. Again, it's not working. There we go. So you can got your character drifting through different pieces of junk and scrap for a Contrail. I really like that. We got the Bright Raider skin. I really like this version of Bright Bomber. It almost looks like they made her like more realistic, if that makes sense. Not realistic, but like, they made her look more... I don't know how to describe it, but she almost looks like Ella Pardell with those big old eyes. Here's the Lego style for Bright Raider. Nothing special, but I like it. Then on to page 12, we got her alt style, the pastel Bright Raider. For a loading screen, we got loading screen with her and Hope. Ready, set, wrecked. Then we got the Bright and Speedy Spray, the Pastel Bitey X, the Bright and Speedy Spray. <laughs> interesting, interesting. More V-Bunks. The Pastel Raiders Trophy. I really like this, actually. This is a pretty cool back bling. I need to see the... Was that on here? No, it wasn't. Okay, so this is a alt style for it. Then we have the pastel bright ready. Ooh, okay, so we get to see the helmet in action here. I really like this skin, actually. I'm really starting to warm up to it. I was kind of feeling meh about it at first, but after seeing her with her helmet on, I'm actually kind of digging it. On the page 13, we got our tier 100 skin, Megalodon. Before the season came out, people thought this guy was Gunner from the IO. I mean, he might be, but uh, you never know. We got the Nitro Burst wrap. I, I really like this. I love the animation on it. Got the Nitro flowing down. The Dawn's Dominator pickaxe. Ooh, nice. New banner icon. The Megalopack. I don't know what's up with all these like, really small back blings this season. I mean, I like them, but it's like, they're all really small. <laughs> the Nitro Smog, finally, a Contrail that works first try. We got the Nitro Smog Contrail, I really like that. The Megalodon outfit. Doesn't he look badass? He almost reminds me of, uh, I don't know if I'm saying the name right, but Samoa Joe from Mad Max. He almost reminds me of him. And we got the Nitro Fusion Megalodon. We got his loading screen. We got a bunch of skins in the background. And a good old Megalodon up front and center. V-Bucks. The Nitro Boom. Nitro Boomin. The Lord of the Wasteland lobby track. We'll listen to that. Really like this more V-Bucks, and last but not least, for tier 100, we have his alt style, which is Ooh, that's really cool. He almost reminds me of Bane from Batman getting like, Venom injected into him. Okay, so that's it for the core battle pass. Now let's move on to the bonus reward section. Oh, that's really loud. So this is the alt style for the Megalodon Splatter. This looks really nice. My brother uses a skin called Powerhouse. I, I, I think this would actually go well with it. 
I got the right, the default style for the Raiders Trophy back wing. I was looking for that earlier, but I guess this is what it looks like. It looks pretty nice. The Clang Bashers pickaxe. Got some more B bunks. The Night. Ooh, I love the color scheme on this one. I love this. The Night Hunter Scar outfit. Or style, I mean. And we got the Overseer wrap. More 100 B bucks. The Oasis Megala pack. More V bucks. And the Black Knight T60. I really like this. So Fortnite kind of had put their own twist on paint jobs for power armor in this, it seems, because this is not a paint job in, that you can actually find in Fallout. And it looks like this is based off of the Black Knight outfit in Fortnite, and I really like how they did this. I love how they have some red paint just smeared across his chest piece. Got some on the back too, and you even got a little red bandana on his arm. I, I, I like that. I really like that. I like how Fortnite kind of added their own added some Fortnite flair to the Fallout collab. I like that. All right, page three, we have the Black Knight style for the Pit-Boy. It almost just looks like the regular style for the Pit-Boy, but just more black. V-Bucks, the Oasis Dominator. It looks like Slurp's coming out of it. V-Bucks, and the Oasis Megalodon. He looks quite sweet. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you this guy's Lego style, didn't I? Load. There we go. He looks pretty nice as a Lego. I think next all we have is the blade. Yeah, I'm gonna say these will be the super leveling styles. <sighs> Onto the quest rewards. We got the Wild Wasteland loading screen. This was the key art for the season that Fortnite posted. We were all anticipatingly waiting for. So we got that. The Cobalt Hydraulic Slammer. Oxide Rust. Not really big in this style all that much. I think he would look better with his helmet on, so we'll have to see how he looks later with that. The Bouncing Keys of Emoji. <laughs> Wasteland Rider Glider. <laughs> Rhymes. And the Nitro Flare Mechanist. So this is our tier 1 skin. We've got some Nitro flowing through the back into her helmet. I really like this, and she's got a trench coat on in this style. I really like that. And on to the mystery stuff. We'll have to see what that is. It's coming in 45 days and 59 days for the other one. Then we have Magneto. We don't have anything much to look at him besides the skin. He looks pretty cool. I really like the X-Men. And I like how they gave him like a wasteland look to him. I really like that. Just Lego style. <laughs> looks like he's ripped straight from Lego Marvel Super Heroes. I'm not sure if you guys played that game or anything, but it, it's one of my childhood video games. I love it. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I think I think that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. I hope you get today's battle pass. I don't have a creator code or anything, but if you do, please use code TaborTime because he has a daughter who's in who needs medical attention and if you use his code all the profits go towards that so please use code Tabor time it'll be the pinned comment i'll have it spelt down there for you is yeah thanks again for watching please consider liking and subscribing and see y'all in the next one